Sodium bicarbonate, commonly known as baking soda, is chemically made up of sodium, Na, hydrogen, H, carbon, C, and three oxygen atoms, O3. Athletes often supplement with sodium bicarbonate to enhance performance, but how does it work? During intense exercise, hydrogen ion content in the blood and muscles increase. These hydrogen ions lower the pH in your muscles, making them more acidic. This acidic environment can interfere with the muscle function, leading to fatigue. Here's where sodium bicarbonate comes in. When supplemented, sodium bicarbonate ingestion increases the concentration of bicarbonate in the blood, making it more alkaline. This creates a larger pH gradient between the muscle and the blood, enhancing the transport of hydrogen ions out of the muscle. The bicarbonate combines with hydrogen ions to form carbonic acid, H2CO3. Carbonic acid doesn't stick around for long. It breaks down quickly into water, H2O, and carbon dioxide, CO2, which is exhaled by the lungs. Simply put, supplementing with sodium bicarbonate increases the concentration of bicarbonate in the blood. This helps maintain a more stable intramuscular pH by buffering hydrogen ions and facilitating their removal from the muscles, which delays the negative effects of muscle acidosis, such as fatigue during high-intensity exercise, ultimately enhancing exercise performance. Based on a comprehensive review and critical analysis of the literature, the International Society of Sports Nutrition produced a position stand on sodium bicarbonate and exercise performance in 2021, authored by leading experts in the field. This is Talking Sports Science with a summary of their conclusions. First of all, regarding performance benefits of sodium bicarbonate supplementation, research confirms that it can improve performance in both single and multiple bout exercise, especially in muscular endurance activities, various combat sports, including boxing, judo, karate, taekwondo and wrestling, and in high-intensity cycling, running, swimming and rowing. These benefits are most notable during high-intensity exercise tasks, lasting between 30 seconds and 12 minutes. What's more, sodium bicarbonate improves performance in both men and women, and the long-term use of sodium bicarbonate, for example before every exercise training session, may enhance training adaptations, such as increased time to fatigue and power output. Sodium bicarbonate primarily enhances exercise performance due to its physiological effects. However, it is worth mentioning that some of its performance-enhancing benefits might actually be placebo-driven. Moving on to dosage and timing. Getting the right dose and timing is key to maximising sodium bicarbonate's benefits. For single-dose protocols, minimum effective doses may be as low as 2 grams per kilogram of body weight to see performance improvements. However, the optimal dose seems to be 0.3 grams per kilogram of body weight, where higher doses, such as 0.4 and 0.5 grams per kilogram of body weight, generally don't provide any extra benefits and are more likely to cause side effects, which we'll come on to shortly. And regarding timing, for single-dose protocols, the recommended timing is 60 to 180 minutes before exercise or competition. But there's another option, multiple day protocols. These involve taking sodium bicarbonate over a period of 3 to 7 days before the event. The total daily dose is usually 0.4 to 0.5 grams per kilogram of body weight per day, divided into smaller portions, for example 0.1 to 0.2 grams per kilogram of body weight with each meal, like breakfast, lunch and dinner. This approach can help reduce side effects, particularly on competition day. Speaking of side effects, as mentioned earlier, supplementing sodium bicarbonate increases CO2 formation. This explains some of the commonly reported side effects, such as bloating and belching, as the body tries to expel the excess gas. Other common side effects include nausea, abdominal pain and vomiting. The severity and frequency of side effects can vary from person to person, but for most people it's generally low. Nevertheless, to minimise the likelihood of side effects, consider the following strategies. Take smaller doses, around 0.2 to 0.3 grams per kilogram of body weight. Consume sodium bicarbonate about 180 minutes before exercise for optimal absorption. Combine it with a high carbohydrate meal to improve tolerance. And use enteric coated capsules, which dissolve in the small intestine to help reduce gastrointestinal discomfort. By following these strategies, sodium bicarbonate supplementation can be better tolerated, allowing you to experience its benefits without significant discomfort. And lastly, combining sodium bicarbonate with creatine or beta-alanine may enhance performance further. 
However, its effects with caffeine or nitrates are still unclear. Therefore, as with all supplements, to optimise sodium bicarbonate, it is recommended to experiment with dosage and timing, as well as combining it with other supplements during training, to determine what works best for you before using it in competition. And that concludes this presentation, summarising the International Society of Sports Nutrition Guidelines on sodium bicarbonate and exercise performance. As always, for a deep dive into the literature cited within the position stand, I recommend you go and check out the full article. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.